Welcome all. In this section, we are going to talk about piping and instrument diagram that is pin IDs. So what we are going to cover is what is piping and instrument diagram that is pin ID. What is pin ID used for? What should a pin ID include? So these three topics we are going to cover in this section. Along with that, there will be a link for the quiz in the description box. So first let us talk about what is pin ID. This is the most extensively used engineering document used by all disciplines. For example, process, piping, mechanical, civil, HVAC, electrical and instrumentation. So this becomes the basis for all discipline to start their engineering work. Also, if you see the full form of pin ID is piping and instrumentation diagram. Okay, so this is most commonly used uh, uh, word for pin ID. This is an engineering document developed by process engineers. So all these pin IDs will be developed by process engineers. So that means process engineers are somebody who provides input to all these disciplines, right? It shows piping and other related process flows. So how the piping is connected with one equipment to another, how the process flow is there. So all those things are covered in the pin IDs. It provides detailed graphical representation of actual process system, right? So details of process system will be there, which will be including piping, equipment, valves, instrumentation, and other process components in the system. So whatever components are available in the system that will be represented graphically in the pin IDs. All the components are represented using pin ID symbol. So there will be a lot of symbols. If you see, if you look at this picture, there will be a lot of symbols for valves, for instruments. Everything will be represented in the form of symbols. So pin ID is nothing but a combination collection of all the symbols with respect to piping, equipment, valves, instruments, and any other component which is associated within the piping system. So it establishes the functional relationship of piping instrument and mechanical equipment okay so the three discipline three items related to piping instrumentation and mechanical equipment if you look at this figure you can see the equipments the connections these are piping and all these are instruments so all three components are basically shown in the pin IDs. Although there are other discipline uh, items also, but majority of the items will be associated with piping, instrumentation and mechanical equipment. So pin IDs are one of the most important document for any project and crucial in all stages of the process system development and operation. Right. So for any process plant, pin ID will be the basis. It will be developed by process engineers. It will be associated with all the other disciplines also. Majorly, it will be covering the piping, instruments and mechanical equipment. So this is what pin ID is. Now let us talk about what is pin ID used for. If you see, there are very various purposes which this document really fulfills. So let us look at few of these fundamental uses of pin IDs. Sometimes we call it PEFS also, Process Engineering Flow Scheme. So first of all, the main use of this document is always to represent the piping and instrument items along with their proper arrangement. So this will, there will be a sequence, right, with respect to flow and it will provide the association with piping and instrumentation. So this is the first and topmost uh, use. Also, it serves as a basic document for operation control and shutdown schemes. So how the operational team is going to perform their work, they, they will use this document just to understand what is the sequence, how the items are associated with each other and how if anything happens, then how they are going to control it. During shutdown schemes also, pin IDs are really useful. Then pin IDs provide the basis for maintenance and modification. If some modification is required at any stage of the project, then these documents will be referred to understand how the items are associated with each other. Then only the maintenance activities, modification activities can be performed. 
also once we know that this document is there there is a one document which provides uh, the sequence the flow the association of other items then it can uh, help us to provide the to ensure the plant safety okay so again this is a very critical document when we are talking with the regulatory authorities especially with respect to the plant safety then pinadi's drawings serve as a guide for startup and operational data again we discussed here uh, with respect to operation activities during startup also we need to understand how the items are associated and what activities we have to plan then pinadi's are used to develop guidelines and standards for facility operations so this will be initial document to start to develop these guidelines and standards then it is a basic training document if anybody wants to understand the process details especially the operational guys field engineers maintenance operational people they need to look into these documents in very detailed manner okay this can be used as a de- training document these documents help them to track the interconnection how the piping and instrumentation and equipment are associated with each other so this will become a base documents if you want to explain it to somebody this will be used also during training purposes also this document can be a base document pinadi provide the design and construction sequence of four plants for systematic planning of activities okay there will be lot of activities lot of sequences we have to plan especially during construction and design also so this will become a base document during design phase as well as construction phase this serves as a basis for studying different mechanical and chemical steps to find the root cause if something goes wrong now we know it is associated piping instrumentation and equipment all are shown the sequence is shown how they are connected how the instrument controls are there how we are going to measure the temperature pressures everything will become basis from this document so that means if anything goes wrong then we can always look into this document just to understand the root cause this document provides basic information for initial project cost estimation for example in piping we always look into the pinadis to get the pickables once we look at uh, once we list out all these pickables valve flanges right we can add the pipe lengths and elbows then we can get the mto out of it material take off so once we have those kind of things we can estimate the project cost also so this document becomes basis for that activity also most importantly hazop model reviews process safety ma- management every activity will be requiring the pinadis finally the pinadi drawing provides a common language for discussing the plant operation so we can say when we know that pinadi is talking about piping instrument equipment right so it will become a common language once we have this document with us then we can discuss anything about the plant operation so this is what this pinadis are used for so we know that pinadis are the language of design team operation team construction team it will become basis we can discuss anything about the plant if we have doc- this document with us but at the same time we do not have any exact code or standard okay so this is a reason for various organization for various project this document may vary but the basic concept will remain same there will be symbols there will be a sequence associated with piping instrument and equipments so let us see what are the basic things which are most of the time are included in the pinadis so first of all the mechanical equipment whatever equipment are there in the project with the equipment tag and name these two things will always be there most of the time the capacity and sizing is also included all valves with proper identification there will be different valves isolation regulation check valves right so those valves will be properly identified with the help of symbols sometimes we provide the valve tags also so that it is very easy to track at later stage 
instrument details with the designation so there will be a lot of instruments to control the temperature pressure right a lot of things so so those things are also mentioned in the pinides pipeline with the line number sizes material spec other details okay there will be a designation designated line number for any pipe between two equipment or you can say between two nozzles that line number will be having this line size piping spec flu fluid code right insulation insulation thickness so a lot of things will be there in the pipe line number then the flow direction will be there how the flow is moving from one equipment to other which direction it is moving it will really help in a lot of activities at the startup operation at many stages even few valves will be opening in one direction only so that flow direction will help in all those activities there will be a lot of miscellaneous items for example drains vent special fittings reducers sampling lines expansion joints right flexible hose connection reducers expanders so a lot of things will be there which we call as a miscellaneous item so these items will also be represented in the form of symbols so these items which are uh, integral part of any piping system will also be included in the pinides so piping and equipment interface what kind of nozzles are there right rating of those nozzles size of those nozzles everything will be demarcation uh, will be done for these interfaces references for interconnections if it is not detailed in that particular pinady then the reference specific reference will be provided so that the details of that particular interface can be obtained physical sequence of piping items this is the most important uh, part all these items how these are connected how the flow is moving from one point to another how these are associated with other equipment all those physical sequence will be included equipment rating capacity sometimes short design and dimensional details are also mentioned if if there are suppose uh, two equipment in the pinady then at top of uh, that equipment a top section of any page of that particular pinady it will be representing the design conditions and dimensional details of that particular equipment interfaces with vendors and contractors how inter how the interface is there between vendors and contractor for example if there are compressors right there will be a lube oil or maybe run down tank how the interface is done what is the scope it will be mentioned what is uh, in vendor scope how it is uh, covered in the contractor scope so these scope demarcations will always be there then computer control system unit seismic categories details like equipment operating standby normally no flow etc are also included in the pinades right so these are the basic details which will be included in any of the pinades along with that there will be a lot of notes if you see on right side of the pinady there will be notes included to any piping system which will be related to two phase flow special pipe length right whatever is the process requirement shall be covered in the form of notes most of the time if there are general notes which are applicable to many of the pinadies then those can be part of legend pinadies right which will be giving us a lot of information common information you can say for all the pinadies along with that there will be slope required if there are slope requirement insulation requirements all these will be included in the pinadies so these are the basic things which has to be included in any of the pinadies so in this section we talked about what is pinadi what is pinadi used for and what should a pinadi include so these three topics we covered along with that there is a link for a quiz which is specially uh, related to this topic that is pinadi along with the quiz there are a lot of links uh, related to useful videos and courses published on epc land that is all this information is also included in the description box so see you in the next part